In this school spider tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bulk upload and bulk move your pupils. So um, I'm just logged into the main um, administrator area here. So all I do is click on manage pupil area. And then um, what I need to do is manage the pupils who can log in. So I click on that at the top. And you see once it's loaded, you can manually add the pupils here. So list all pupils, you can go back and edit them add pupils if you want manually so you may have to do this as you go through the year just manually add a pupil but these are the two options that we're after here so bulk upload and bulk move pupils so I'll show you how to batch upload the pupils first so I just click on that and then what, what we need here is an export from sims with all of the pupil data in it so um, I think you go to run a report from sims and um, you choose your columns that you want and then you export it now the columns that we need are the pupil's first name, the pupil's surname, the pupil's gender, and which class or year group they're in. However, you've got your classes set up on the website is how you need to take the uh, how you need to make the export from there. And it needs to be a CSV file. So this is um, this is a the standard sort of database spreadsheet file. Um, and it, you know you'd be able to open this in Excel or whatever it is that you use. So I'm just going to click to choose your CSV file. So I've got a I've got a pupils list here. So um, so this is my Excel spreadsheet export exported from Sims. So I just double click it. So let's just know now that we've uploaded it. I should show you that file first. Just bear with me. Um, so where is it? Documents. Files for demonstration. Right. I'll show you what this file looks like. So you see, we've got each of the um, each of the different things in each column. So surname, forename. So what year group they're in. So we use year groups on this website. So we're going to do year groups. What gender they are, and if you want to upload the parents at the same time, it's a good good practice to do this so that you can do all of the pupils and all the parents at the same time. You see, you have the parent salutation, which is what it's called in Sims. So if you take the parent salutation and the email address if they've got it of the parent as well. So you see. It's um, it's just the name, so so just the name of the parents, so Mr. and Mrs. Bailey there, or you know Mr. Beardsworth. Um, you can just upload them there, so they're just in their own column. So once you've got that, and we've up, we've uploaded it to the site now, what we need to do is map the columns in on the um, administrator to the columns that are within the spreadsheet. So I need to choose the first name, and this list here is the you see these are the column titles in your um, export. So first name is forename, surname is surname, gender is gender, and the class that they're in is the year group. Now create a parent or guardian with the following name. So if you're uploading all your parents at the same time, this is where you choose the parent, um, the parent name, so the parent salutation. So if I choose this, every time every time it uploads a pupil one of these pupils it will automatically create a parent of this name in the administrator section so um, I'll just carry on so usernames will just create them automatically if you've got a column um, within your spreadsheet then um, you can use a column with all the names in same with the passwords so I'm going to go save details and map the classes so now that we've saved all that we just need to map what class to which um, class in the spreadsheet so um, what have we got in our spreadsheet? We've only got year one pupils, but you, you'd see that um, when you do it, it's going to be all of the different classes. So I'm just going to map year one to be year one. But if you have all these different classes within your export, then they'll all show up in there as well. So what would you like to do with this new data? So uh, we're going to delete the old pupils, then add the new pupils. Uh, save details and import pupils. So there we go. So let us know that our information has been saved. Congratulations, you have added seven pupils, view your uploaded pupils. So here they all are. So there are uploaded pupils. Uh, and you'll see as well, if I go to the parents area, manage parents, it's automatically created all of these parents for you as well. So you see Mr. Baybot, Mr. and Mrs. Bailey. So you see they relate to this column in there and they've automatically been created for you. Let's go to the pupil list again. You can export all the pupils, usernames and passwords here. So you just click the export button. And it'll give you a CSV file with all the pupils, you know, 
names and uh, usernames and passwords in. You can filter the pupils. So let's imagine you just want to see, you know, year six pupils or year one pupils. You can filter them and then export them, so it'll only export the pupils that are that are viewable. Um, if you struggle with this, just send just email it across to us. We'll be able to to do this sort of stuff for you if you want. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you how to bulk move the pupils. So this this really is at the end of the year or the start of your new year. You may want to move pupils from one class up to another. So instead of manually going on and doing everything through the the list of pupils button here. You can just go on and just move pupils from one class into another. So here, for example, move pupils in class reception to the following class. So you might go reception to year one, year one to year, year two, year two to year three. And then you just press save at the bottom and it will automatically bulk move all of the pupils from one to the other. Then if you need to, you can go back in and list all the pupils, you know, manually change the one or two that you need to change as they're going into a different class. Um, yeah, and then you set up ready for the new year.